Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and expand on a topic that we did in a previous video and talk a little bit more about document templates and, and more specifically related data. So I was talking with one of my fellow partners in crime, Joel, and he had mentioned you know, you did this thing on document templates, but you didn't really talk about related data. Well, you know, that's, that's a valid point, because let's be honest, how many times are you going to create a document template that's, you know, just going to have account information or contact information? You know, more often than not, maybe you want to do like an order summary that has the order details and then has all of the specific, you know, line items around that opportunity. Or maybe you just want to do like an account summary that has, you know, who is the account, primary contact, here's all the contacts at the company, here's all the opportunities, here's all the cases you know, those types of different situations. Maybe maybe you're doing field service, you want to have work orders. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to go through and just, you know, talk a little bit about what that related data piece looks like inside the application. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the application again, and let's, let's take a look at this. So if you remember from our previous video on this, we're going to go into settings, and we're going to go into templates, and we'll choose document templates. And we'll just go ahead and create a new one. And again, because I want to do more of kind of the, you know, sending out a, you know, a notice or something that's going to contain, you know, a, a nice pretty look for all this information, I'm going to choose more of a word template because I don't necessarily need to do any analytics around it. So I'm not necessarily bringing it into Excel. So I'm going to choose word template. And I'm going to select my entity. And then it's going to bring me into kind of my selection screen where I can define, you know, what is the items that I want to work with. So what you'll see here is this is all of the relationships that are associated with the account entity. You've got all the ones where it's acting as the primary entity, all the ones where it's acting as the child entity, and then all the entities where it participates in a many-to-many -many relationship based upon the item that you're working through. So in here, I can select the relationship or relationships that I want to include in this particular template. So, you know, maybe I want to do a summary of contact information and see all the contacts that are associated with it. Maybe I want to have an opportunity to go in and see all the cases that are attached to it. And maybe I just, you know, even want to go in and look at the opportunities that it's attached to either, you know, as the customer or as a parent account. And then I also want to maybe, you know, who is the primary contact? So I want to bring that information in. So this is where you can select all the relationships that you basically want to include in the data set. So there will be a separate line item for each one of those relationships where when you expand it, it'll then show you all the individual fields that you can bring in as part of that option. So you just select as many as you need here. Now, the only thing I will tell you is each one of these relationships or each one of these items is limited when you bring it in as part of the data set. So it's only going to show you up to 100 records per item. So that's a very important thing to note. So, you know, from an application standpoint, you know, you, you do have some limitations that you're looking at in regards to the amount of related data that you can bring across. So it's basically up to 100 related records per relationship that you choose. So now you would go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Save As. And I'll just call this Account details account detail info and then save it so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up so I'm going to go into my account detailed info and I'm going to open that up Again, you'll have already wanted to enable the developer tab, which we did in a previous video, so I won't get into that. But I'll go into my developer tab, I'll click on my XML mapping pane, and then I will pick the individual items that I want. So in this case, it's always going to be that Microsoft CRM document template and then the entity option that you've chosen. And then when you expand that information out, you will then see all of the specific items that you want to work with. So in here, I can see all my all my records. But if I scroll down, here are those relationships that we defined within that particular situation. Now, from a, a creation standpoint, it's very similar in what you would want to do as, as far as what we did in the past. You would find the individual field that you want to bring in. So for example, I want to bring in the account name. You're going to right click. You're going to go into your insert content control. You're going to pick how you want to bring this in. And in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and choose you know, plain text and, and I'll bring that in. So that hasn't necessarily changed. Where it is a little bit different now is if I come in here and let's say I want to include this related information in like a table or something like that. So maybe I'm going to call this, you know, um, contacts. And so I'm going to insert my table. 
I'm going to pick how many fields I want to do on my table. And so in this case, maybe we'll just say full name, phone, email. So now you'll follow really the same steps that we did before. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to scroll down to where my relationship has been defined for my contacts um, in that situation. So I choose and expand contact customer account. I find the fields that I want to bring into this particular table as far as being displayed. So I'll click on, for example, the full name table of field, insert as plain text, go over to the phone number, find that field, choose telephone one, insert plain text, and then I'll go up and I'll choose my email address and I'll insert that one. So that's really not all that different than, than what we've you know done in, in previous videos uh, when we've shown you this. Here's where the differences come in just a little bit. So now that you are working with this and you want to define that it needs to be you know repeatable data within this table, you want to then select the entire row that contains all of your fields. So you add your fields first and then you select the entire row that contains all of your fields. Now I can come up into here on the actual relationship that defines with these entities, I can right click on it and I can go to insert content control and I'll see an option for repeating. And when I click on repeating, that'll define this as repeating data. And what's important here is to make sure that you have the entire row selected and that you get this plus sign on the entire row. I'm gonna back out of this real quick here. If I do it at a field level, so if I have a field selected and I do that same thing, what ends up happening and you, yeah, sometimes you'll get an error message. Sometimes if you, you know, depending upon how you bring it in, if you have the, the item selected and you try to do the repeating, it'll give you the plus sign here. So then what ends up happening is it repeats those individual fields on the same row or the same, you know, the same row item that you're working with. And you never fully get everything displayed the way that you want. So it's really important that you don't do it at a field by field basis. It's important that you do it at a row basis. So select the entire row, right click, go to your insert content control and then hit repeating and that'll give you everything from that standpoint. So here's what a completed one might look at, you know, look like. So I've got a table that's kind of defining my information. I've got an area broken off specifically for the account info, defines their name, account number, phone number. I've got primary contact information in there. Both one of these are standalone items. So I'm just bringing in the information from the, the record itself and from a parent record in a relationship. Then I go into each one of my specific items that I want to work with. And that's where I will be able to see, you know, what items I brought into here. And that's what's going to define to me based upon those situations, the individual items that I have here. And that's where that repeating situation comes in. So you can see when I select the entire row, I have repeating information coming across for each one of these. So when I finally do bring it back into the application and upload it, everything is going to work out you know, as intended. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and upload that information back into CRM. So now I would come into here. I would upload template just like we've done in a previous video. I would find the template that I want to, to work with. So I can either browse or I can drag that information into the appropriate situation. So in here, let's just move this off. I would drag it in. Then I could hit upload and it'll then upload the template with the information that I want to work with. Once I upload it, then I can define the name and, and all the individual pieces that I want to work with. Now I've actually already got one that's uploaded. So let's go ahead and look at that. So if I come back into here and I go into sales and I go into accounts, if you are not noticing your templates right away, you may need to go in and just redo a quick refresh on your display and that'll then upload that information in. So now in here, I select the record I wanna work with. In this case, I've got a datum. I'm gonna go ahead and expand my option underneath my command bar. I'll see word templates. And then when I click on word templates, I'll see all my individual word templates that I've worked with. Now, side note, if you are an administrator, you can upload templates kind of the way that we showed you. If you're an individual person and you have permissions to be able to do that, you do have the capabilities to bring those in, you know, this way as well would allow you to create that same template, create the data source, and then kind of follow the steps that we worked with. In this case, I'll go ahead and I'll choose account detailed breakdown. It'll export the information into Word. It'll generate the Word template for me. Go ahead and hit open. 
And there it is. There's my information, my account number. There's my repeating information based upon the items that I've gone through. There's my cases that are currently listed within there. And then there's my opportunity. So it brings everything in, you know, very cleanly. Um, the other thing that we didn't necessarily talk about on this while I've kind of got you in there is, you know, depending upon what it is, you may or may not have people who should have access to something as well. So the other thing that's kind of nice about this is if I were to go into my settings and templates and open up my document templates. If I were to go into, for example, this account detail breakdown and I were to open this up, one of the things that you'll see in here is an enable security role. So just like we would have with, you know, forms and dashboards, if you want to do, you know, role based templates, you can do that. You can come in here and define what specific security role should have access to these templates once you upload them. But this gives you a really nice, you know, more practical look at how you might implement these for this particular functionality in a real world type in a real world type situation. So there you have it. That's how you can go ahead and work with document templates that contain related data from other entities, whether they are child entities or parent entities or, or even entities that participate as part of a many-to-many -many, many -many relationship. So I would definitely recommend, you know, go ahead and play with it, you know, do some different things and just kind of see what some of, you know, some of the capabilities are as you're working through it. So that's going to do it for this week's video. So again, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek saying thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and have a good one.